well, um, we're elated, obviously, that um, we got the information very early this morning, around about five o'clock. Uh, Rebecca received the first call and um, just tremendous relief and happiness that um, what seems to us uh, even a lot longer than three days, really, um, has had such a, a wonderful and um, and uh, happy, happy ending, really. Uh, to be honest, I don't really remember the actual phone call. I must have been just so adrenaline, on such adrenaline. And so I sort of ran around telling everyone that I'd, I'd found him and stuff. But I felt at that time that it was important that I didn't sort of get ahead of myself because we hadn't been told any details at all, just that they'd found him, you know, so we didn't know whether that was dead or alive. Um, but then sort of 10 minutes later, uh, Daybreak gave us a call and um, said that they'd that he'd been picked up and stuff. So it's pretty pretty amazing. Been shaking all day. Only Sam could go three days in the wild and be pretty much fine. You know, a couple of yeah. I mean, you know, when when we'd spoken earlier, um, we'd said I think that you know he's a very fit young guy. Um, he's always taken his own personal fitness as a very important thing. Um, I think we also felt that he would be mentally strong, and he's, you know, he's hoping to go into the into the military with Sa at Sandhurst and so on. Um, so, you know, he, he's always been fascinated by outdoor and survival type of programs, um, and perhaps some of that has, has, has stayed with him. You know, when when the uh, when push really came to shove, he's done some wrong things, I think, by the sound of it, but he's done some things which you know enabled him to stay alive and as you say pretty unscathed apart from sunstroke and dehydration um, in a in a really uh, hostile terrain I think. From what I um, understood on the phone, brief phone call I had with him earlier he did go for a run um, which is what we suspected um, but instead of going to the place he usually runs which I think is, a, is an airstrip nearby or something he, for some reason, has taken a different route to spice things up a bit or something. And um, it's just obviously got massively disorientated and then obviously it's probably got dark and then it's really difficult to retrace your steps. So then it just spiralled, I guess. Everything we've said or done over the last few days as a, as a family, and we've had tremendous support from family, friends and, you know, the professionals, um, both in the media, and in the uh, police and, and search rescue services and so on. Everything really has been done with one aim in mind, that's to get Sam back home and uh, home back and well. And, uh, you know, amazingly in a way, that's what's gonna happen by the sound of it. So everything has been done with that one goal in mind.